I'm here with uh, an old friend of mine, actually, who's apparently done fairly well for himself, and he's jacked, and that's kind of threatening here in the studio. His name is Tony Campos, and uh, tell the people a little bit about yourself, man. Well, man, uh, first off, thank you, Carlos, for having me, man. We got an old bond going on already. Lately, man, I've, I've been uh, I've been doing this thing called MMA, and uh, I'm doing okay, man. I'm undefeated so far. I had uh, two fights this year, really good, feeling strong, and I'm looking forward to the future. Very cool, dude. Uh, where do you train at? I, I train out of Vanguard. It's uh, located in Manassas. Uh, you know, I have to say, like, shout out to my coach, Coach Doug, Coach Christian, Coach Nick. I love you guys. They're the best coaches in the DMV, like hands down. Very cool, dude. I don't know too much about this stuff. How, how would one get started? Uh, in MMA or fighting or anything like this? I mean, first off, it, it's probably not for everybody. I'm going to be honest sure. with you. It's not. like And uh, a good 99% of the people who go to my gym aren't fighters. And I'd say 95% aren't looking for a competitive, you know, environment. I mean, they're just there to, you know, learn the art, work out. Mm. And uh, the 5% that want to fight, if you want to fight, first off, you got to know what hard work is. You can't be lazy in any aspect of your life. You can't be lazy in work. You can't be lazy in school because it, it, it transfers right over. Your work ethic is huge. Yeah, you just you start with day one on, on the first spot. Like, you, you work your way up. No one's treated special. Like, as an athlete, I was pretty, like, strong just coming into the gym. I wanted, like, I've been up to other gyms, and I came in cocky, and, you know, people beat me down, but I came to Vanguard very humble, and they're going to make you humble too because those guys beat me up on the daily even now nice. like that's how i get better <laughs> wait so you're saying that like people can just show up and i guess wrestle around and be cool and with that without having to like compete or anything yeah i mean it's it's a very open friendly environment uh we're gonna push you obviously i mean right. you, i mean if you if you're there like me personally it's tough for me to train with no cause so i need to be like training for competition to, right. to really get a workout in but if you're, I mean, people are in there for themselves. And, um, you know, yeah, yeah, like people people just want to come in. They want it like a lot of people like to wrestle. A lot of people just like to box, you know, and right. they're just in there and, and it's fun. I mean, like, you get into shape of doing that stuff, man. Yes, sir. Uh, so you got anything coming up? Any uh, tournaments? Any uh Yeah, fight? actually, and on next, uh, next like 10 days, there's a grappling tournament up in Ashburn. And like two weeks from now, there's one in uh, Delaware. Uh, some big tournaments you know copanova and the u.s grappling uh you know i'm trying to double gold i i I tend to i'm excited i have another fight i'm looking i was trying to get one this month or next month but uh you know the guy i wanted to fight hasn't you know responded and he doesn't want to fight this year end of the year so i mean christmas and christmas is coming up i'm trying to eat during uh thanksgiving too so uh, i'm looking at january february for the next mma fight and, uh, yeah, keep the unde- undefeated streak alive. So uh, I'll be excited about that. So uh, let me just clear this up. So uh, you're, you don't solely do the MMA fight. So you do – so grappling is one thing. And then do you box also? Or, or, or yeah, what do you yeah, do? I, 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 uh, well, trainings, you know, we do – we're known for our jujitsu, our grappling. Right. Uh, and obviously the rest we have a wrestling okay. uh, team there as well at Vanguard. Really? I didn't know. And we have, uh, we have – you know, brand new coach uh, Nick, coach, and he's uh, well. He's been there for a year and a half now, but he's a he's an excellent boxer. He's an excellent, even better coach. So we have a striking team. We have a type like kickboxing team, and I do it all. Uh, and I and I compete in every every aspect of them. I like sports that you have to, you know, where you get to punch people in the face. <laughs> and uh, it's it's fun punching people in the face. It, is fun. It's fun, especially when you're having a bad day. Like, yeah, you just got to punch someone. Uh, remind me never to hang out with you when you're having a bad day, though. Cause... <laughs> so, how far do you want to go with this? Do you want to like end up with these uh, guys on uh, what the UFC and stuff, or where do you want to go with this, man? Yeah, man. I mean, I have high expectations for myself. I train with the best guys in the DMV, like. I train with number two, 170 pounder pro, and I train with you know Mike Pope. Uh, shout out to him. He just had a, a fight this weekend. He beat. He weighs 145 pounds and beat a 170 pound man. So uh, I'm very impressed. You know, and I fight with them all the time. You know, these guys, are pros. My buddies have won belts. Like it's not crazy for me to say that I can do it too. Like there's been guys coming out of my gym who've made it to the to the big leagues, to the UFC, you know, to a World Series of Fighting. 
Any names that uh, we might recognize? Well, actually, we had a student like Reed Miller. He he was a student at George Mason, and while he was here, he you know he won a 135 and 145 pound belt, which is you know 140. I fight at 145 and 155 myself, so you know I train with that guy on the daily. You know, so I'm not gonna say I beat him up every day because <laughs> he beats me up. But, I mean, I hold my own, and we go to J- George Mason. We're most of us are still really young. I'm only 21. Yeah, I think the the sky's the limit right now. Like I, I believe in myself, and as long as I'm working hard, I, there's there's really nothing I can achieve. I have a lot of goals in life, but it, going pro MMA, like that's gonna happen within two years. I know I'm I'm looking for a title. I'm looking for a t- amateur title, and I'm gonna go pro, and uh, I'm gonna take it all the way. I really am. What's your next step as of now, then? Because uh, you said you want a, an amateur belt. So who who are the people you have to fight to get there? Well, I mean, it depends. Uh, being that I'm uh, still an amateur, like uh, I fight for Operation Octagon, the best organ- uh, amateur organization in uh, the East Coast with the biggest and longest running. Uh, Jeff Wilds are an amazing promoter. Uh, I, I don't know, like whoever they want me to fight because, I mean, they, we have a new title holder at 155. And pre- we have a new title. I'm pretty sure we have a new title holder at 145 too. But, I mean, do you want to take it from them? I, w- I mean, if, <laughs> from if both doesn't have to be that those guys particularly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, you know, it's what I, it's what I want to aim for. Uh, I, I had an interview a while ago with uh with my buddy on the activity bus Midas, and he's a great guy. He uh, you know, he uh, he asked me the same. He's like, "Yo, you can win two belts," and I'm like, "Dude, let's talk about step by step." Like, I just need to win my next fight, and uh, I did. You know, call out Mr. Alex Olav, but um, they haven't put that interview up. I don't. Know. He's Alex is a sponsored athlete by the Activity Bus, so maybe. Well, do you want to call him out again? I mean, calling him out right now, dude. Like, oh I wanted, snap! I wanted to fight. I mean, it doesn't have to be you anymore. It doesn't like I don't really care who I fight anymore. I really don't. You know, uh, maybe next fight, but I mean, if he's if he's a serious competitor. Hear that? Tony wants to fight, yo. I want to fight anyone, dude. Like <laughs> I, I'm I'm hungry for competition. I want to get to the next level. Like I've already, you know, won two fights. And I'm I'm in there. Like I, look, I I've been through three rounds and I finished someone. Like I think that speaks a lot. Like my training speaks for itself. We have to look at backgrounds too. Like I'm I'm a solid athlete and I'm only gonna get better. Like I said, I'm I'm really young too. Like that's a big deal. That's kind of a big deal, too, guys. I'm just like, let's be honest. Fighter's <laughs> life is not that long. Well, there you go, man. And you know what makes me curious? You're a very soft spoken guy. You're a very cool, collected guy. How does that translate when you fight? <laughs> Are you just kind of hanging out in the on, on, on the, you, in the ring, just hey, how you doing, man? You know, Bam. Like, like you, you do get nervous, <laughs> but I think something that I changed from my first to my last fight, just like the type of music and what I'm listening to. Hmm. At first, I was all about the hype. But then again, mm-hmm. I've never been a hype guy. I've always yeah, been man. pretty calm. And so I'm trying, yeah. Even now, I'm pretty calm. I think it's for this. Like, my coach will say it, too. Like, there are real problems going on. Like, you, if you guys ever listening, if you're not listening to WGMU, you're met, like, first off, that's, <laughs> that needs to be number one on your presets. I'm saying, there you go. But uh, <laughs> if you listen to, like, NPR, I mean, they talk about, you know, Ferguson, Ebola, you know, corruption. Isis. Like, there's, there's sad – and you know, I, I have to do a shout out to my my one of my sponsors, Brian from Commit uh, Sports. Uh, he uh, you know he gave me a call today. He said one of his uh, one of the kids he used to coach football was gunned down. He's 17 years old. You know, uh, yes, my condolences to Max uh, Goodall and his family. You know that those are problems. Soldiers going to war. Those are problems. When people say I'm going to go to war in the cage, like no, you're not. You know, we do this for fun. Like this True. is this is fun. Like this is there should be no pressure fighting. There should be no pressure fighting, especially at the amateur level. Even at the pro level, I mean, you you should have a background, like a backup plan and a bra- background for something else. Right. Uh, especially you. Know, I mean, you got to know what you're doing. So I I don't take it. I mean, I take it seriously, but it, it's not the most important thing in the world. Fighting. Because I think, like Chael Sonnen said it, like, even God doesn't exist in fighting. You know, when people say God's going to help me in this fight, like, no, he's not. Like, God's going to help those Marines yeah. out there. He's got other stuff to he's deal with. He's got other stuff. Yeah. There's real problems, like I'm saying. So it, it keeps me grounded. It keeps me leveled. And so, and I, I'm, I'm a confident guy. 
Like I know the amount of work I put in, it's going to be tough for someone to imitate it. The, the amount of talent I already have, you know, it's going to be tough for someone to imitate. And, and I'm always learning. I'm, I'm constantly getting better. I'm only going to get better. So I have confidence in myself, my skills, my teammate, my family, and my, all my friends, you know, and uh, it helps me keep me grounded. And also I get beat up every day. Like just Which yes- is always fun. Yeah. Just yesterday I got I, I got picked apart, torn into pieces by you know all these guys i've mentioned <laughs> yeah it, it, it happens on the daily so it's awesome man i really i really like this attitude you got going on uh as we know that you're obviously a gmu student also um i'm curious what do you do at when you're not like fighting what do you do at school what, what kind of stuff are you into uh well i'm a business uh, marketing major uh, I already got associates in criminology already. I changed my degree because I found out I like money. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, I like yeah. I like business. I really do. Uh, I think, especially marketing wise, it kind of just uh, complements my my other stuff, my fighting, uh, very well. And uh, I, you know, I have a lot of respect for for law and enforcement. You know, I wanted to be FBI agent. Like, but I'm like I'm saying, like I'm if I'm not fighting, I'm all, I'm. I'm either at school taking class, studying, or or at work. I work at you know a GNC Borum Plaza in Manassas. Like, shout out to Joe, my my the boss. You know, he's he's a cool guy. Thanks for the job. S- literally supplements my life. <laughs> so um, it, it helps. Everything I do is it's like a puzzle. I I put it together. There's no missing pieces. Everything complements each other. My life is structured. I have a plan. I have blocks of t- what I'm gonna do each day. And you just got to be organized. Like you can do as much as you. People say you might be spreading yourself thin. That's a lie. You just don't know how to organize yourself. You got to just block out your time, do what you love, and, and be committed to it. And you know the, you got to hold yourself accountable because if no one's uh, no one else holds your hand. And th- that's a that's a fact. Uh, people who say they want to help you out, uh, very rarely, unless you really like. We're cool, Carlos. I like you, man. I, <laughs> I like you too. I, I, I love Carlos, guys. He's my homie. But I mean, there are other guys. Like you gotta just walk, watch your back. And I, 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 I think if I'm gonna tell you uh, the your viewers and stuff, um, anything like just l- be on the lookout for number one. Okay, yeah, man. You, you're you're your own team. Uh, you're your own boss. You're your own manager. You're your own employee. For your your business is your life, as my dad said. Yeah. You know, if someone tells you, "Hey, come over" or something like. Guys, I'm not. I'm not telling you not to party. <laughs> That's not what Yo, I'm saying. Uh, no, we party. We party hard. <laughs> <laughs> but if you feel uncomfortable with something, say, "Nah, man, I got business to do." There you go, man. And and, <clears throat> and you're, like I said, your business is your life. So, star keep, player, keep it real. Word. And well, you know what? I was expecting just a chill interview, but I got a life lesson out of this too, man. And I can definitely dig that. And. Uh, if there's anything else you want to let people know, if you want to reiterate the fact that you're calling this guy out, uh, what else What else you got, man? Anything yeah, man, else? I mean, uh, I just want to say thank you to my team. Uh, I think I said thank you to uh, Elder Ramos, Mike Pope, David Reeves. David Reeves is actually a coach of Disciple, and uh, I heard him on interview. My name was mentioned, in, and he had nothing ni- but nice things to say, which is, you know, it feels great because I he was actually cornering cornering against me my last fight so really and, uh, it was it hey, was cool. interesting and uh, I mean I got nothing but love for everybody though I, I doesn't matter who I fight next I'm always a respectful guy and um, you know it, it just happens to be like that way hey, yeah and and follow me guys like I I appreciate the support like it's tough to do this without fans it really <laughs> it really is like I I like when people are actually interested in what I do I mean I and I tr- I'm an entertaining guy I really am uh, if you if you come <laughs> see me fight if you come see me grapple I'm always looking for the most exciting stuff I might be like there's, I'm not a boring fighter to watch. Like first fight, I'm throwing flying triangles out. Second fight, I'm throwing elbows. I'm finishing people. It, I'm in there. Uh, so follow me on Twitter at Anthony uh, Capital A underscore Campos Capital C underscore. After that, uh, that's my Twitter. My Instagram is T underscore Campos uh, under yeah, underscore. And then my you know follow me follow me on Facebook Campos Anthony. And uh, I keep you guys posted on everything. My next fight's probably going to be in January. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to say, you know, thank you 
thank you, uh, Carlos. I really appreciate the opportunity, too. And thanks to Reed, too. Sure thing, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us. And uh, I'll have all of your links posted up on my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter. Follow him, too, guys. Yeah. If you follow me, you can, uh, you'll can you get all the links to uh, Tony's stuff. It's uh, Facebook.com slash Midday Mason. And hey, man, thanks a lot for hanging out. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Sure thing.